Hello everyone, it's Miss Carla here at the Palos Heights Public Library. Today I have a fun story time for you. It's about something that we all wear all the time. Underwear! So, let's get started with our hello song, Bread and Butter, Marmalade and Jam. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello! That was fast. <laughs> okay, let's do it slow this time. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello! Good job. Okay, our first book today is a silly one. It's called Polar Bear's Underwear, written by Tupera Tupera. Polar Bear has lost his underwear. Can you help him find it? Let's see if we can help him. Poor Polar Bear, he can't find his underwear. What's the matter, asks his friend Mouse. I've lost my underwear. What kind of underwear were you wearing today, Polar Bear? I can't remember. Oh no. Don't worry, Polar Bear, we'll look for it together. Thank you, Mouse. What a good friend. Look at this colorful striped underwear. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, that is not my underwear. Whose underwear is it? It's Zebra's underwear, and it's his favorite pair. That pair, this pair has treats all over it. It looks delicious. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, it isn't mine, Mouse. Whose underwear is it? Let's see. Nom, nom, nom. It's Pig's underwear. What does Pig say? Wink, wink, wink. Here's an itty bitty pair of underwear with flowers. See how small they are? Cute. This pair looks too small for you, Polar Bear. I agree. But whose underwear is it? Any guesses? It's Butterfly's underwear. That's why they're so small. This underwear says, I love mice. See, I love mice. This must be your pair, Polar Bear. No, that is not my underwear at all. Well, whose underwear is it? Oh no, it's Cat's underwear, run! And what does Cat say? Meow. Wow, polka dot underwear with ruffles. This isn't your pair, Polar Bear, is it? Let's have a look. No, it's Octopus. Wiggle, wiggle. Oops, actually it's Squid's underwear, and he has 10 legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten legs. This pair of underwear, carrot underwear is upside down. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No way. But whose underwear is it? It's Rabbit's. And it looks great on her head. Does underwear go on your head? Not really. Hmm, here is some white underwear. Whose pair could it be? Look closer. Do you have any guesses? Polar bear, you are wearing your underwear. Your pair isn't lost at all. Oh, I forgot that I put on my white underwear today. So silly. The end. What a silly polar bear. Okay, now we're gonna do a little felt. It's polar bear from the story. So, we're gonna do a little little question for you. We just now remember the story and how it ends. Does polar bear wear orange underwear? No. Does polar bear wear green underwear? No. Does polar bear wear red underwear? No. Does polar bear wear purple underwear? No. Does polar bear wear yellow underwear? No. What color does he wear again? White. You almost can't even see him there, but here's his white pair of underwear. Silly polar bear. Okay. We are going to do a fun song that we all know called Wheels on the Bus. 
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The babies on the bus go way, way, way. Way, 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 the babies on the bus go way, 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 all through the town. Good job. It is time for our next book about underwear. This is called Those Are Not My Underpants, written by Melissa Martin and illustrated by Troy Cummings. I think we're going to be looking for underwear again. One fine morning, Bear Cub ampled out of his cave and stretched. Right over his head, he saw a pair of underpants hanging on a tree limb. Someone lost their underpants, he said. I wonder who. He looked them over. No name and no tag. Bear Cub wanted to find who belonged to the underpants, so he set off through the forest. He said hi to Squirrel. Are these your underpants? No, answered Squirrel. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked Bear Cub. Yes, there's no hole for my tail. See, he's got a long tail. Now he said hi to Turtle. Hi, Turtle. Are these your underpants? No, answered Turtle. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked Bear Cub. Yes, I keep my underpants under my shell. Hi, Owl. Are these your underpants? No, answered Owl. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked Bear Cub. Yes, Owl's underpants are sparkly. Ooh, look at those. Hi, Salmon. Are these your underpants? No, answered Salmon. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked Bear Cub. Yes, Salmon don't wear underpants. We wear swimsuits. Because Salmon are what? They're fish, that's right. Hi, Bat. Are these your underpants? No, answered Bat. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked Bear Cub. Yes, Bat underpants glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. Hi, Skunk. Are these your underpants? No, answered Skunk. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? Yes, they smell too good to be my underpants. You know how skunks can be stinky? Hi, snake. Are these your underpants? No, answered snake. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked bear cub. Yes, snakes wear long underwear. Hi, beaver. Are these your underpants? No, answered beaver. Those are definitely not my underpants. Are you sure? asked bear cub. Yes, whispered beaver. Underpants are way too embarrassing to let everyone see them like that. Hi, Moose. Are these your underpants? No, answered Moose. Those are not my underpants. Are you sure? asked Bear Cub. Yep, Moose underpants are extra large. <laughs> if you've never seen a moose, they're very big. The underpants didn't seem to belong to anyone, so Bear Cub headed home. Bear Cub asked Mama Bear, why are you carrying your underpants around? What? he exclaimed. These are not my underpants. But they are, honey, answered Mama. I washed them last night and hung them up to dry. Mama Bear laughed. You see, you're not wearing any. Those are your underpants. Bear Cub looked down. They are, he said laughing. They are my underpants. What a silly bear. He put them on and the underpants fit perfectly. The end. What a silly bear. Have you ever lost your underwear? That would be a silly thing to lose. Okay, now I have a silly song for us. It's Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Underwear. Head, shoulders, knees, underwear, knees, underwear. Head, shoulders, knees, underwear, knees, underwear. 
eyes and eyes and nose and mouth and underwear head shoulders knees and underwear knees and underwear <laughs> let's do that one more time head shoulders knees and underwear knees and underwear head shoulders knees and underwear knees and underwear eyes and nose and mouth and underwear head shoulders knees and underwear knees and underwear good job that's another silly song now i have another silly book this one is called vegetables in underwear written by jared chapman do vegetables normally wear underwear i don't think so And speaking of, what what vegetable is this? Broccoli. That's right. Underwear! What color? He's wearing red underwear. Good job. I wear underwear. You wear underwear? We all wear underwear! And here's some other words for underwear. Drawers, undies, briefs, underpants. Did you know all those words? There's big underwear, and there's little underwear. There's dirty underwear, P-U, look at the flies. And clean underwear right out of the laundry basket. There's old underwear, he's throwing it away. And there's new underwear. There's serious underwear, and there's funny underwear. There's underwear for Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All the way through Sunday. Underwear are for boys and underwear are for girls. Underwear are for big kids and underwear are for babies. Wait a second, hmm, babies usually wear underwear. No, babies don't wear underwear, babies wear diapers. Sorry, babies. But the best part about underwear is, you can wear it anywhere. Just remember to put your clothes on top. The end. That was another silly book. Okay, now we have another song, and it's called Now You're Getting Dressed. I go, we're gonna do underwear first. First put on your underwear, underwear, underwear. First put on your underwear, now you're getting dressed. Stick your arms into your shirt, to your shirt, to your shirt, stick your arms into your shirt. Now you're getting dressed. All right, we're gonna pull our pants up. Pull your pants up to your waist, to your waist, to your waist. Pull your pants up to your waist. Now we're getting dressed. Okay, wiggle your toes. I know you can't see mine. Wiggle your toes down in your socks, in your socks, in your socks. Wiggle your toes down in your socks. Now you're getting dressed. Okay, slip your shoes on. Slip your shoes on, tie them tight, tie them tight, tie them tight. Slip your shoes on, tie them tight. Now you're getting dressed. Now you can go out and play, out and play, out and play. Now you can go out and play because you are all dressed. Good job. Okay, it is time for our last book. I can reach it. And our last book is called one Big Pair of Underwear by Laura Gell and Tom Lichenheld. See, there's two bears in there. That's a lot of bears in one underwear. One big pair of underwear. Two brown bears who hate to share. One brown bear wears the underwear. One bear cries, that isn't fair. Two small sacks of salty snacks. Three young yaks with black backpacks. Two yaks put snacks in their packs. One mad yak yelps, where's my snack? Three fast scooters painted teal. Four bouncing silver seals. 
three seals steal a set of wheels. One seal gets a real bad deal. Four large jars of candy bars. Greedy goats and five red cars. Four goats gobble up all the bars. One goat finds four empty jars. That's sad. Pillows sit on five flat mats. Nap, 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 think six fat cats. Five fat cats nap on their mats. One fat cat thinks rats, rats, rats. Six cookbooks in narrow nooks. Seven apron-wearing cooks. Six cooks pull books out of their nooks. One cook gives them grumpy looks. Seven jet skis shiny blue. Eight cows craving something new. Seven cows call, moo-hoo. One hot cow stews, moo-boo-hoo. Eight long sticks and one slick puck. Nine excited skating ducks. Eight ducks play with sticks and puck. One poor duck is out of luck. Aww. Nine trombones all gold and grand. Ten baboons all raise a hand. Nine baboons march with the band. One baboon gets less than planned. Poor baboon. Ten tall twisty playground slides. Twenty pigs all want a ride. Piggyback, the piggies decide. Ten pairs glide down side by side. Bears can see it's fun to share. They try sharing underwear. Seals and yaks soon follow suit, sharing snack packs while they scoot. Cows, baboons, and cats and cooks share their boats, horns, mats, and books. Goats and ducks share candy bars, hockey fun, and empty jars. The friends all share and swap and trade, then line up in a long parade. How did they learn to count and share? From one big pair of underwear. The end. Good job. Okay, we have one more song. It's another silly one. Oh, where, oh, where have my underwear gone? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? Oh, where, oh, where have my underwear gone? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? I've looked up high and I've looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? I've looked up high and I've looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? That is another silly song. Unfortunately, it's time for our goodbye song. It's going to be the same as the opening song, but we're going to say goodbye this time. This time we're going to say goodbye really loud. Okay? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye! All right, now let's do it quietly. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. Thanks for joining me, friends, and I'll see you soon.